Hello Azars! I'm standing here in Irish Crossings looking south down Irish Crossings Lane and now I'm looking off towards the west where the horseshoe bends around and goes back over towards Willis Street. So here I am facing uh, the fronts of all the townhomes that back up to Burnett Street and the property that we're looking at here uh, has a rather large private parking area and to the north here, I apologize, it's windy, is an apartment complex called Irish Flats that's newly built. And this is your unit that you're considering right now. This is 54650 Burnett Street, second from the end on the northern part of Irish Crossings. And I'm walking up to your front door here. This unit is one of the last ones built on the Burnett facing side of the development. And it has all of the upgrades in it. So we have very nice ceramic tile entry, nickel light fixtures throughout. They opted to have these wrought iron handrails, uh, or rather wood stained handrails with wrought iron balusters. And they have a nice maple wood flooring throughout in here. So when you first enter the unit, you come on this nice living area and there's a uh, foyer entry coat closet here with an ample amount of storage in it. And then there's stairs that go up and stairs that go down. So you enter on the middle level of the townhome, essentially with a walkout basement. So here's a half bath, granite, tile floors, and it opens up into this nice area in the back back here with a fireplace between two eight foot tall sliders, a nice dining area here, living area by the fireplace across from a very large kitchen. So here's that space. Try to give you a wide angle view of it here. So here I am standing back by the back slider and I'm looking through towards that front living room area and here's this large kitchen with bar seating, stainless appliances, maple cabinetry, the TVs and electronics would stay at the 370 price. Here's the fireplace. And then out here, one of the other nice features about Irish Crossings is these 20 foot long by 12 feet deep Trex decking balconies on the back. So you have a huge party deck with a grill uh, that's included as part of the deal. And here's your view. So you look out at some land in Notre Dame owns, and then you're looking out across the street at Ivy Quad, which is fronting on the university. And then the Overlook and Stadium Village are down that way. So. Here's this rear axis. This is Burdette Street that we're looking out over. So directly across from you, there's woods. And if I could see through those woods, I'd be looking at the uh, Googly Amino and the tennis courts and all that. But here's Ivy Quad kind of across the street and then woods directly behind you. So that's your view. And now I'll show you the upstairs and then the downstairs. So as you go upstairs, there's a master suite, a total of three bedrooms and two baths. And then uh, a laundry room up here as well. So three bedrooms, two baths, and a laundry room. When you got to the top of the stairs, there's a hall bath, nickel fixtures, granite top, double vanity, toilet, and a standing shower with door across the Landing, there's a laundry room with cabinetry above, tile floors, washer and dryer would stay. Here's your linen closet. Here's the secondary bedroom. You have vaulted ceilings up here, which is nice, with ceiling fans. You can see that's a queen size bed. So a pretty good size room and a good size closet across from it. And again, that vaulted ceiling goes up quite a ways in here. Here's another identical bedroom. This is the third bedroom. They got two twins in here on either side of the window. Ceiling fan, vaulted ceiling, and now the master suite. Excuse this window shade. It looks like sun has eaten that up. When I touched it, it was brittle to the touch and it's just falling apart. So they have a king size bed in here, vaulted ceiling, ceiling fan. This room has a walk-in closet. That's a good size. And then your master bathroom. So a double vanity, granite tile floors, stand up shower, and then the water closet in the back back here. 
Very nice unit. So when you look out your master bedroom window, you're looking out at uh, Irish Flats and then at the whole of Irish Crossings where I was standing when I started the video. And then we'll head downstairs to the basement. There's the foyer, living area, half bath, dining kitchen fireplace deck, and now down to the lower level. So down here, the base of the stairs, we have the mechanical room. So here's your high efficiency water, high efficiency uh, water heater and furnace. Underneath the stairs, you have storage. Good amount of storage under the stairs. Here's the two car attached garage. And one of the nicest features of Irish Crossings right here. And that's that you got two spots in your garage, two in your driveway and one up front. So five dedicated parking spots. And again, now I'm down below the deck here, looking out at your street view. And here's the back of the buildings with their decks right there. Okay, and so finally I'm going to show you the fourth bedroom and third full bath that are down here on the main level. So as you come to the base of the stairs, oops, looks like I locked myself out here. Now you're going to get to see the side of the building as I walk back around to the front. <laughs> well, won't be going that way. All right, let's go this way. So very close to campus. This side of campus is desirable because there's a healthy mix of alumni, students, families, second homes. Here you can buy this unit for 370. Almost everything else is 430 on up. And you get four bedrooms, three and a half baths, five dedicated parking spots, and on your side, a large, well cared for development with other owners like Mike Golick and people like that. So I think it's the best complex out there. I think you'd be very happy here. This is a rare unit. I think it'll be sold by the weekend. So anyways, now we're back inside and heading back down the stairs here. Sorry about the detour. So when you get to the bottom of the stairs here, we're gonna take a left and see the last bedroom suite. So this is really more of a basement bedroom since we're in an interior unit, not an in unit. We don't have an exterior window in here. Here's a walk-in closet though, and a full bath. So there you have it guys. I'll send you this in the still pictures and a bunch of other info and you guys can think about it. Talk to you soon.